Hey there everyone, Dog here coming to you from the station with our social distancing edition of Tahoe Medical. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Dog, one of the EMTs at the station. Thanks for joining us today. Dude, can you believe what a crazy year it's been? First we have a serious disease that demands everyone's attention. Then we have serious protests that demands everyone's attention. The many problems both of these events have either created or highlighted are bigger than we can adequately explain in a low-tech kid show made by a 50-year-old guy who has no idea what he's doing. But one thing I do know is that we need each other more than ever right now. Whether you're sick or healthy, black or white, staying connected with your friends or your family will help everyone get through these difficult times. Zooming or FaceTiming with a friend, having a silly conversation about absolutely nothing is a great way to do it. And if you're doing it already, thumbs up. That's great. Just be sure to call your grandparents every now and then too. And keep that air horn handy. You never know when they might fall asleep mid-conversation and need to be woken up. There's no way he sleeps through that. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are saying, Dude, how is that going to help us get rid of coronavirus? How is that going to help us get rid of racism? You know what? It's not. Those are big, big problems that will take a lot of hard work from all of us over time. With so much work and so much stress involved in tackling these big problems, I just want to remind everyone that every now and then, you need to take a break. And if you can take a break by connecting with a friend or family member in a safe way, that's even better. I know it's hard to not be able to see your friends as much as you want right now. And you're right. It isn't fair. And it isn't fun. You know what, though? You have a strong heart and a strong mind. You have what it takes to get through this. And when it's all said and done, when we finally get through everything and can hang out with our friends as much as we want, it's going to be some of the best fun we've ever had. Okay? Just hang in there. You can do it. Another question some of you may be asking is, Whatever happened to the show? Why haven't there been more episodes? Truth is, I don't have a great answer for that. The creator has had time, in my opinion, to at least put something together. If you ask me, I'd say he needs to wake up and smell the coffee. We've got like, I don't know, maybe 10, 20 fans out there waiting on a new season. Just get off the couch, turn off Love Island UK, put down the senior seasick burrito and get on it. So this idea of doing a show where I share my thoughts on the importance of connecting with friends or family all started after a conversation I had with my friend, Secret Service Agent Number One. And during that conversation, he told me about something he found on the internet that we both thought was kind of funny. So why don't I call him up real quick, and we'll show you what we found. Hey, what's up, Secret Service Agent Number One? I'm good, I'm good. Hey, you know, since we've known each other for a while now, you don't have to be so formal with my name. Sorry, sorry. You said that before, and I keep forgetting. What did you want me to call you again? My parents named me Philip. So Philip should work just fine. Just Philip? Yep, just Philip. Not Agent Philip or Secret Agent Philip? No, just Philip. What about King Philip? No. Philip the Rhino? No. Phil Man? No. Master Phil? No. Captain Philip? No. The Mr. Phil Show? No. Sir Philip of Tahoe, agent of Obama and keeper of the white sunglasses? No, just a... So I'm working on the Tahoe Medical Social Distancing Edition. And real quick, before we get into the meat of our convo, if you will, let's just remind people of who you are and how we know each other. Well, we first met back when I worked on President Obama's security detail. 
he had come out here to play some golf between meetings, and if I remember right, his golf ball hit you, knocked you out, and after you woke up, you tried to return the ball to him. Yes, that's correct. His ball flew right into my head. I actually don't even remember it happening. <laughs> so you went after him to give it back the ball, and all I remember was seeing this dog going full speed straight for the president. I had no idea who you were or what was going on, and I had to act fast because, you know, if there's a dog running right at the president with a golf ball in his mouth, well, that could be trouble. So I got on the radio and ordered my team to tackle you. I guess when you say it out loud like that, it does sound suspicious. <laughs> and I felt really bad about it, too. So for being a good sport about the whole thing, me and the team took you and Otter out to dinner that night, and that's how we became friends. From then on, we kept in touch now and then, and once Obama's term finished, they didn't need as many people for his security more, and I was kind of ready to do something different, so I moved out here and started a landscaping business. I call it Secure the Perimeter Landscaping. I've always found that interesting. Why landscaping? It can't be as exciting as presidential security. Well, no, but that's kind of the point. I, I was ready with something with a little less stress. Although I will say I hadn't thought about the amount of snow we get up here. And that means a lot of snow blowing and shoveling the driveways and sidewalks of my clients. And that can get a little stressful. Right after a big snowstorm, everyone wants their driveway cleared at the same time. Come on, people. I can't be everywhere at the same time. Do I look, look, do I look like the Flash to you? No, of course not. I'm Marvel all the way. If anything, I'd be Captain America. Sorry, I get a little, little worked up when I talk about it. No worries. I get it. DC and Marvel are very different. But let's circle back. Let's see. So you moved out here, started your own business, and we started hanging out more over time. Next thing you know, the pandemic goes down. Everyone is left to FaceTime with Zoom friends and family while staying at home. And in one of our conversations, you mentioned how your idea to make those calls a little more visual led you to a cool little discovery of something kind of funny. I was just thinking... What could I do to maybe get a laugh or be silly while one of these video chats? So I started searching for silly masks on Amazon and found a few things that were funny. I don't know how I landed on it because, you know, when you're searching a lot of times, you just see uh, a link and then another. Next thing you know, you're ne nowhere near where you first started. You went down the rabbit hole. Oh, yes. I was way down the rabbit hole. Anyway, I ended up landing on this shirt that had three wolves howling at the moon. So let's pull that up here so everyone can see. We've all seen it, but it's still just great. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> right. Ow. I was checking out this shirt thinking I might wear it during my video chats. Maybe do my best Dwight Schrute impression with it on. I see, and I started looking at the reviews, and they were hilarious. The product reviews, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. I was dying. Check this out. This is from Matthew Coslow, April 2017, five stars. He writes, currently running the countryside with a pack of wolves after having put on this shirt. We'll review later. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Or this. This is from Michael, July 2017, also five stars. As I slid this shirt over my head for the first time, I was greeted with a blinding flash of light and a thunderclap that caused not only the wolves prowling the area to howl, from the neighborhood dogs as well. The dormant spiritual power that had long been asleep inside my soul was awakened, an all-consuming fire that is both great and terrible. <laughs> Love it. Ow, ow, ow. Well, this one's a little off, so I'll just read a portion of it. It's from Osbro, August 2019, and wouldn't you believe it's also five stars? Once we arrived in Florida, the chatter of the impending hurricane started. That's when the three wolf moon shirts tribal beat began to penetrate my subconscious. It felt like a village of drum toting Oompa Loompas had surrounded our condo and were destroying the beaver skin toms with precise rhythmic accuracy. I have no idea how anyone slept through it, but at the same time it was calming. Like being wrapped in a giant, warm, invisible tortilla painted like a reversible American flag with fireworks on one side and Willie Nelson on the other. <laughs> a giant, warm, invisible tortilla with fireworks and Willie Nelson? Yes. It just keeps going on and there are so many more. It's hilarious. After you first told me about this, I started searching up funny Amazon reviews and found a bunch of great examples. People really get into it. 
And you can usually find something for every kind of sense of humor. What's even better is sometimes the humor is not just in the reviews, but in the customer questions and answer section as well. Dude, I know. Take the Three Wolves Moon teacher as an example. One customer asked, is it safe to stare in fascination at the wolves on the shirt without blinking for several hours? And the answer to me says, yes. However, you may want to have a question for the wolves ready. While staring at the magic wolves for several hours, you will enter a meditative state called gnosis. During this period, the wolves will be with you as guides, answering any questions you have about life and consciousness. <laughs> I love it. That's great. So real quick before we have to go, let me show you what I found. Yes, do it up. I am ready. So the product is the Beach Behemoth Giant Inflatable 12-Foot Pole-to-Pole Beach Ball. And the review comes from Reed Hamlin, February 2018. Two stars. I actually think this may become a meme because 13,000 people found this review helpful. It's a little long, but worth it. The review says, We took this ball to the beach, and after close to two hours to pump it up, we pushed it around for about ten fun-filled minutes. That was when the wind picked it up and sent it hurtling down the beach at about 40 knots. It destroyed everything in its path. Children screamed in terror at the giant inflatable monster that crushed their sandcastles. Grown men were knocked down trying to save their families. The faster we chased it, the faster it rolled. It was like it was mocking us. Eventually, we had to stop running after it because its path of injury and destruction was going to cost us a fortune in legal fees. Rumor has it, it could still be seen stalking innocent families on the floor to panhandle. Oh man, that is classic. I could just see the children screaming in terror. I love this stuff. Alright, so anyway, I gotta wrap up this call now, but thanks again for pointing these reviews out. It's nice to get a little comic relief during these crazy times. Dog, thanks for having me on the show. I had a great time. I look forward to doing it again. Yeah, man. Maybe we could try and make this a regular thing, you know? Come together and share crazy Amazon reviews. 100%. Ow! Ow! All right. Talk to you later, Philip. Stay safe. You too, man. Talk to you later, dog. I'd also like to say thank you to everyone out there watching today. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to hang out with us. Who knows? Maybe we'll try and do something like this again. And until next time, stay safe out there. Merry Christmas to you guys.